Yes, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 4 is finally out, and also Birdo, a playable character from Mario Kart Double Dash, is also in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So let's talk about Wave 4. Is it really worth it playing? But let's talk about it. What's up everybody, Danny's here, back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. I've been streaming the heck out of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And if you guys want to play, have some fun, come over, hang on. It's a good time. And also, it's for the first time that I've been playing Metroid Fusion. It's a really great game. But let's get into this. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 4 is finally out. And what do I think of it? I think it's really cool that... We also, you saw that Birdo is finally a playable character in Mario Kart Double Dash is what you guys expected on the GameCube but uh, Mario Kart Double Dash is gonna be 20 years old this game will be 20 years old and right now we just need to talk about this so the Mario Kart Deluxe Wave 4 is finally out oh I don't, I don't know what's that um yeah Mario Kart Double Dash is gonna be 20 years old this year and it was a great Mario Kart game we have like two players, or like these two characters you can play as, but one character you can play as in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And so far, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 4 is definitely the worth of that. It's definitely worth it. And I think it's really cool to see um to see the waves. Let's see these race let's rate these race tracks if they're good or bad. Now, first up. Let's uh, let's have a look of these Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These Mario Kart tracks. Let's see if they're good or bad. So first up, uh, we have... Uh, oh, no. So, Administrative Drift. Let's rate that a 10 out of 10. And also, Riverside Park. Definitely my favorite track. I would rate that a 10 out of 10. DK Summit. Oh, wait. Yeah, DK, DK Summit, I would rate that a 10 out of 10. And also Yoshi's Island, which is the new Mario Kart track. And I think I'm going to rate that a 10 out of 10. Because you guys know, Birdo is now a playable character in Mario Kart Deluxe. And let's see, Bangkok Rush, definitely rate that a 10 out of 10. And also the Mars Circuit, 10 out of 10. This is the Nintendo DS version. Here's the GameCube version. Waluigi Stadium, 10 out of 10. And also... Singapore Speedway, write that a 10 out of 10. And now we got to know that I like Mario Kart Deluxe. I think all the trucks are good for me, enough said. Um, they're just putting all the Mario Kart Tour um, tracks, which is pretty cool. Just to have, just to have people like, to, to have a look at these tracks. Cause they're new, cause these are the, the Mario Kart Tour tracks are newer in Mario Kart Tour. But let's just say that Mario Kart Tour is Mario Kart 9, okay? And now Mario Kart Deluxe is definitely the best Mario Kart game I've ever played. But now the Wave 4 is definitely good. So we only have two more waves at the end of 2023. I think it's probably at like October, November, December, or September. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, actually, let's talk about Metroid Fusion. It's finally out on the Nintendo Switch. And now, without any further ado, Metroid Fusion can easily become the best Metroid game. Because we see, we see Metroid Dread as of Metroid Prime Remastered. Actually, look at Samus' suit. It is actually a reference to... Um, her. This is a reference to Samus' suit and Metroid Fusion. That box art is actually... this. Samus' suit is a reference, as you know. But um, so far, collected so many games, and this month I will be getting Metroid Prime Remastered since it was released on the Switch. And I think it's actually a 2D Metroid game. Basically, it's so far I actually played a little bit so far, and I've been really enjoying the game. And now Mario Kart Deluxe, I played a lot of Wave 4 so far. Wave 4 these way four tracks so far i've been really enjoying it but um you know what i think the mario kart dlc is definitely worth it it happened one year since it came out it happened one year since the dlc came out which is pretty cool and i got the expansion pack so it's definitely worth it for the mario kart deluxe dlc tracks 
But if you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And let me know what you guys think of the Wave 4 tracks and Metroid Fusion on the Nintendo Switch. This would be a definitely, it was definitely worth it because the, it had been one year since Mario Kart Deluxe. Um, the DLC came out, but make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you all next time.